Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey friends, and it's Debsy, and the place to be, it's Debsy. That's me, Debsy. Hey everybody, and happy Thursday. Oh my gosh. Damn it, we're almost, damn it Janet, we're almost there. Okay, so it's Thursday. I hope everybody's having a great week. And I thought, oh! Okay, so there's, oh my God. So I'm driving and there is a, there's a fucking bee in here. Is it in here? No, no. Okay, okay, listen. Okay, so, oh my God, don't pull up on me all hard like that, buddy. Seriously, I'm dealing with all kind of shit going on here. Okay, everybody, so uh, welcome to my channel again. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to my channel again. So, um, it's Thursday. I thought we would do a Thirsty Thursday. Um, and hopefully I can get this done before this um, bee kills me. So, okay. Hey, everybody. Um, it's Thirst. I thought I would do what's going to be called... <laughs> Thirsty Thursday. I'm going to be reviewing this. And what it is, this is a mango whip. This had come to me from, this suggestion had come to me from um, Bunny Cakes, aka Trish. And she had told me that the mango whips are like amazing. So we're going to try it. They're from Taco Bell. It's a mango whip, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, it smells so awesome. Like, this would be a great candle. So, let's try it. Oh, that is really good. Oh, shitters, Nicole. Oh, God damn it, that's good. Mmm, that's, that's refreshing. Oh, son of a bitch, that is really good. That is really good. I mean, that is really, really, really good. What's going on here? That's really good. I'm going to say, I have not been able to get the pineapple refresher from um, Starbucks. It's been sold out all over the place. So, um, I... Well, go ahead. You were, you were going to go anyways. I mean, why just look at me then? So, it was sold out every place. <laughs> this is all over the place. Um, it was sold out everywhere. So, that's why I decided to get this. And I'm going to tell you, this right here, this is fantastic. Like, 10 out of 10, 45, 50 on the Maddie scale. Amazing. Now, what I thought I would do, I thought I would review this, but I'm driving along. I thought I would also get something off my chest. And that is... Um, the latest season of um, Stranger Things, season four. Listen, don't nobody come for me, but you all are not going to like how I review this. I'll be right back. And I'm only on episode two. Okay, so yes, I thought I would review this. Um, I thought I would review this drink for Thirsty Thursday, but also this has been bothering me. Um, this has been bothering me since I started watching this year, this season of um, Stranger Things, season four. Now listen, don't anybody come for me, but I am having, oh, there's a train, a runaway train, now I'm going back. So I've been having a little difficulty really um, getting into this season. Um, I've been having a lot of difficulty getting into this this season, season four. I'm only on episode two. Please don't come for me, but I am not really, I am not really feeling this season at all. Um, I feel like there's too much going on. Like you have, um, you have Elle and Will out in California with um, Joyce and they have all those teen prop they 
not they all have those teen problems, but they have they have teen problems going out there, go on out there in California. Um, Jonathan, why is Jonathan even in there? I mean, he doesn't. All he's doing is smoking pot and pining over Nancy. Nancy's back in Hawkins, you know, being a journalist of of the world and of the world and the fuck then <laughs> and you got Hopper who's being held captive over in Russia and the only it's if I'm being completely honest with you the only part of that show that is holding my attention even remotely is um Steve Eddie Munson um what's her name you know, the, the redhead chick and, um, and Dustin. That's it. That's it. If it wasn't for those four and Robin. This is good. You got to get one of these in your goddamn, in your GD life. I'm not joking. Um, if it wasn't for those, for those people, those cast members, I honestly would just take a pass and be like, fuck it, I'm done. Because I, I just can't get into it. It's just not holding my attention. There's too much going on. And listen, I get that they're, that they're teenagers. And maybe they want to it to reflect, like, normal life with what's going on with, like, Elle slash Jane. And, and her being um, bullied because she's, like, an, an outsider. I get that. But there's too much going on. I don't even feel like I'm that interested in what's going on with, like with like Joyce and Hopper. I just pick, pick one thing or a couple things. Now, don't anybody tell me that has watched it, you know, if, if it all like comes together, but I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. I'm bored. I'm a little, I'm a little bored by this. Um, also they have, um, also they have teased that there is going to be like some characters that die at the end of this season. I'm going to tell you this right now. I will tell you this point damn blank. If Steve dies, fuck it. I'm not watching it again and we're done. If Steve Harrington die, Harrington dies, done. I'm done and I'm not watching it again because damn it, between, listen, my two... My favorite characters of this season are Steve, Robin, Eddie Munson, and Dustin. Well, Dustin from the start was my favorite character to begin with. And then I think it was what in the second season where Dustin and Steve had developed like that that bromance, that friendship. And I loved it. And I am living for that. And then when they introduced um, my hawk as, um, what are these people doing? You just fucking standing out in the street, running around. Is that Post Malone? No, that's not. I don't know why these people. Is that Ty Dolla Sign or something? Anyways. <laughs> Jesus. Seriously, um, yeah, when they not, when they sh when they got Robin, when they put Robin and Steve together in a friendship, loved it, love it, love it. And now that they have Eddie Munson in, and I love him on there. So let me tell you, if any of those people die, fuck it. We're done, I'm done. Especially Steve. If Steve dies screw you what's their name what the Duffer Brothers uh, screw you Duffer Brothers for me the real true tragedy of this season of this season isn't how they're treating L or anything like that it's the goddamn fact that they still have that they still have that hairdo on Will Byers what the fuck this kid has been through hell and GD back and you're putting that, you're still giving him, giving him that hairstyle? What is that? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You're wasting, honestly, 
he's wasting his act. Plus, he's wasting his acting on that. Like, honestly, first season, second season, he was, he, like, there were times when I legitimately thought, this kid needs to be nominated for some kind of award. Why is he not nominated? And now he's relegated to this once again. A background player with a really shitty bad haircut. Or I don't know if that's a haircut. I hope they didn't for real do that to his head. To his hair. And that was just a wig. Because, uh-uh. I don't know. So, it, it's going to take me a while to get through. To get through this season. I don't know. Like, maybe I'll try and watch it over the weekend. But... I mean, at least it's good music. The other good, the other good thing that came out of this is that finally Kate Bush and her song are getting finally are getting some kind of um, recognition. I love that song when it came out in the eighties. The recommendation is please go out and try the Mango Whip from um, Taco Bell. It is phenomenal like so good it is the taste of the season and the taste of the summer so okay I'm going to head in I hope everybody is having a great day and the weekend is coming so get ready for it and if nobody told you yet today I love you you're loved seen and heard please make sure that you put kindness love compassion acceptance hope and positivity out there because guess what? We all need it, especially at times like these. Everybody have a great day, and I love you guys. Bye, guys.